dogs come in all shapes, sizes, and purposes. And this is mine. Welcome to Tux Ready Aussie. Hello everyone. This is Tux Ready Aussie. He and I are going to be training a little bit as I tell you what to expect from this channel. Currently he is healing. He is healing next to me. Yes. All right, so you might want to know why should you even care about my channel? Good. Well, one thing that you might want to be interested in about my channel is the fact that position. I will be doing skits that will educate you on the rights of different animals. I'm going to be focusing on dogs because that's what I own, but the rights of various animals uh, in the United States and their ability to go places with their owners or different tasks and whatnot that they can down. Tux Ready Ozzy, down. Try again. Down. Yes. Uh, so what you just saw right there, I'm going to keep this in because uh, I'm going to try and show you um, everything about my dog, whether it is him not necessarily listening to a down the first time or if it's just him uh, being a little bit crazy one day, my dog will always remain under control. Um, when I am going out and about, uh, and I will make sure of that because that is part of my uh, job as the owner, and that is one thing that we'll be going through um, as we are doing that and discussing that. But anyways, the reason why you are here is to learn about the rights of uh, yourself as a citizen or a dog owner or as a business owner, or uh, if you are a special case where you have a fear or allergy for dogs, um, you might also be interested to know uh, what your rights are for that. So that is uh, the biggest reason why you probably want to watch the upcoming videos that I am going to be uh, putting on this channel. Uh, and again, Tux Ready Aussie uh, right here is going to be uh, the star of it. You'll be hearing my voice, but it'll be mostly about him and he'll be uh, doing all that. So uh, there's a lot of videos out there about the stand. Yes. About the rights or uh, about the ADA, the which is the Americans with Disabilities Act, the FHA, which is the Federal Housing Act, or sorry, the Fair Housing Act. And then uh, that was just a pivot he just did right there. Uh, and then we'll also be covering the Ameri American Carriers Access Act, or the ACAA. Um, and all of these are uh, what covers at the federal level um, dogs being allowed in different places such as um, apartment rentals, uh, just public stores, and, um, and airports and airlines. And as such, uh, We'll be going over that for the different kinds of dogs uh, that are known. We have the we have pets is one level. Those are primarily companions, and then we have uh, therapy dogs, which are like which are pets with jobs. Their job is to comfort um, other animals, or sorry, other people. Uh, specifically those who might be elderly or in a hospital. And then you have the um, uh, standard working dogs, which are typically um, probably going to be like search and rescue, uh, farm dogs. Heel. And uh, with that, we also have uh, dogs that are for the disabled. These will be your emotional support animals, also known as ESAs. And then you also have service dogs, which are also known as SDs. Um,
yes. Now you notice he didn't sit, that our here command is for him to just come close enough to me. Uh, he does not have to have to stand for that. Uh, Tux ready, Ozzy? With me? Leave it. With me? Rawr. We also, of course, have a running command. He does love to run and chase. Uh, so in addition to these education videos, uh, we'll also incorp incorporate how to interact with um, animals, dogs of um, all sorts, whether they're a pet or a service dog. There are some uh, basic dog interaction rules uh, that need to uh, be covered. And I I'm doing all of this because a lot of people are just reading off the documents, which for me is not actually all that helpful. I am a uh, kinesthetic learner, which means I learn better by doing. So by doing the skits for these videos, I you will be able to uh, observe how um, you how a business and her, and dog handler should interact and what the rules are in each situation, so that you can also practice it yourself. Or you can uh, just, if you're a visual learner, you can see it. Um, Cause it, and there's nothing wrong against the other videos. I'm just trying to supplement them. And then once those videos are done, once I feel like I have shared the knowledge that I have with the help of anyone else who's willing to um, watch. Good. Yes. With anyone else who is um, willing to share any, in any comments to help me out to expand my knowledge, because I'm also willing to learn. I do not claim to be an expert. I just know what I need to know, and I'm sure there's plenty of other things I need to know. Uh, and then with that, uh, we will be doing uh, vlogs. Uh, leave it. Down. Stay. So we will be doing um, vlog style videos where uh, we will be showing kind of our day to day life. Um, and this is more so f to help me uh, train my, my dog better because uh, he, he is quite well trained. Um, at the same time, dogs aren't robots, and of course, both dog and handler can always improve. So I am definitely going to be uh, showing those uh, videos for my benefit and potentially for your benefit, so you can see um, the different ways that can be um, mitigated. Uh -uh. Talks ready, Ozzy! Down. Flop. Down. Flop. Yes. Come. And of course the come command always ends with me grabbing his collar. Just to make sure I have them under control. Yes. Sit. Talks ready, Ozzy. Hi. Ah. Uh? Good. Good sit. Finish. finish yes um so we'll be doing some of those uh and of course if there's any suggestions in the comments for videos um that i feel like i can confidently do i will 
definitely do that. Uh, but of course, Tux Ready Ozzy right here is the star of this channel. And it is all about him and his training and um, educating those of you who are out there. Um, and together, we can protect people from being scammed by knowing the rights of uh, the rights of everyone involved in the uh, dog world and just the animal world in general.